channel. So today I'm doing just a quick update on my bullet journal. I did a video a little more than a month ago, or maybe more than that, just sharing with you how I keep track of everything that I'm doing and everything that I'm learning. The bullet journal I started doing last August, so August of 2015. And I tell everyone that this has been such a life changer for me. It really has made the biggest difference in my life in so many ways. And you can watch that video I go into more detail about how I do it and why I started it and um, all of those details. But for today, I just wanted to share with you just a few little updates and tweaks that I've done in my own journal that have really made a huge difference. So with my whole new motto of take the pressure off for 2016, I have taken the pressure off to try and make my bullet journal look as fancy and as beautiful as all the ones that I see on Pinterest or on Instagram. It just, it's not me. I'm not a fancy doodler or I, I just don't want to take the time personally. Some people really find that to be therapeutic. I find it to be stressful because it's, I'm not talented at it. So I started trying to make mine look so pretty like everybody else's and then it just looked like a two-year-old doodled in my journal and that was not the look I was going for. So I just took the pressure off and now I don't try and make it look fancy. I do the little things that I'm able to do which are very elementary in trying to make it look pretty but I've taken the pressure off to try and like do all the stuff that you might find on Pinterest and, and Instagram and all those places. So that was the first change I made. I still do my daily to-dos so at the top I still have kept this where I write the month and the year with just a line going through the next page. I keep track of the page numbers um, and I still just do my little square boxes and what I'd like to get done for the day. I do have my vitamins little box up here because I tend to forget taking my vitamins so this is a good reminder to do it every single day. And for the day I just write the day and then the date. So it helps me remember what the date is if I need to write it down for something. And then most days I still do the little these are the moments and this is where I write just the things that are present in our life. So little memories that we're making, things I want to remember that my kids said or did. Um, I try to keep it positive but sometimes in our days it's not always positive. So like this day Taylor was sick so I wrote down that he was sick. Um, I wrote down a quote that I heard that day that I really liked. But I try to just keep track of our days and the things that really stood out in my mind so that when I go back and reflect over the last month, because that's one thing that I still really like to do every few months or every month. Sometimes I'll go back through our to-do list or the things that I've written down in our These Are The Moments section and just kind of reassess what is um, bringing joy to our life and maybe what we need to take out of our life that's just draining us or maybe not so helpful. So it just really serves a purpose more than just remembering. It really serves a purpose in helping us to kind of fine tune our life to what works for us and what's healthy for us. So that's been really helpful. And that's why I'm saying like this bullet journal process for me has been so life changing. One, because I'm remembering things that have really encouraged me or wisdom that I've heard from different podcasts or sermons. So often those things would just go right through my mind and I would forget and now it's here. And I keep this with me all the time so it's really easy to reference if I'm like, oh I heard this quote, I'll go back through and read. Or on nights where I'm feeling a little bit discouraged or just a little bit down or days where I have down thoughts or not so positive thoughts, I'll go back through and just read through the quotes or read through the book notes that I've taken and it just kind of builds me back up a little bit and just helps me remember what's true. So all the other things that I have set up and showed in my last video, I still continue to do except for the way that I take notes from the books that I'm reading. So before I would just have like a random page that I would write notes down from that day's reading and then I would flip a few days and then I'd write down another day's notes of the books I'm reading. So when I'm reading a book, whatever I highlight in the book, I'll go and I'll write down in my bullet journal just because it's easier to access than having to pull out the book or pull up the book on my phone and find the note. It's just easier to have it here and to have it written down. It takes a little bit more time, but it's worth it because it helps me to remember it and to retain it. 
So before I would have it kind of scattered throughout the pages and then I would index it in the beginning where I would say like a million little ways quotes and then 29, 37, 48, 57, it was just like a bunch of pages which didn't feel good. I wanted it to be in all one section. So now what I have changed is when I am finished with the book, and this does take a little bit more time, but again, this just works for me, um, I will create a whole section and I'll spend a good half an hour going through all the highlights or all the things that I've underlined and I'll just write them all down. So it might be four or five pages like this one was from Hands Free Life. But um, what I'll do is I'll write chapter one, which was fill in the spaces, and then I just write all the notes that I loved or things I wanted to remember from that chapter. And then chapter two, surrender control, all the little notes from that chapter, and so on. And then I can go back and index it here, and it says hands-free life notes, pages 179 through 193. And it's all in that one section, which just works better for my brain. Again, I cannot emphasize enough how much I love my bullet journal, how much I love the practice of doing this, and just how much it has changed my life and my outlook and my perspective and just just really has made a big difference. In fact, it's made such a big difference that now Jimmy went and bought one and he wants me to teach him how to do it because he's just been kind of amazed at the changes that I've been able to make because of this. It sounds so weird, but once you start doing it, you'll see what I'm talking about. And I think the best piece of advice I can give you if you're new to bullet journaling or if you're finding like you can't really find your groove with it is take the pressure off. Find what works for you and do it. I mean, I'm changing how I do this pretty often. Now I think I've kind of gotten into a little bit of a groove, but if I see something on Instagram that inspires me, I'll maybe change or tweak a little something but don't feel like you have to do it the way I do it or the way that you're seeing online or in videos. Like just find what works for you and don't be afraid to change it up and eventually you'll find your groove and it'll be so amazing, I promise. So that's all I have for you guys today. I will try to make more videos in the future as I tweak things and change things. And as always, if you're bullet journaling or if you have ideas of you know, something that's worked really well for you, leave those in the comments below. It's so helpful for me and so helpful for the whole community of people who are reading the comments and a part of this channel. So I would love it if you guys would do that. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having an amazing day and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I have a Vitacost order to share with you and if you're new to these videos, Vitacost is just a place online that is my happy place. This is where I shop for all of our healthier products and healthier foods and vitamins and just skincare. I mean pretty much whatever I would normally buy at Target, I now get on Vitacost. It's just a whole lot cheaper.